What if I told you that Spidey Sense is real and the US government is trying to figure out how to use it? It's not as crazy as it sounds. Generally speaking, humans have five senses, sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. But could there be a sixth sense too? This question has bothered psychics and skeptics alike for centuries. Historically, the question has been met with paranormal theories, pseudoscience, and eerie coincidences. But surprisingly, science may actually have some rational answers. Let's get to the bottom of it and uncover the secrets that lay hidden in our own bodies and minds. By standard definitions, the sixth sense is an extension of our own perception beyond the five senses we're commonly aware of. This can take many forms from inexplicable changes in awareness like gut feelings to full-blown psychic phenomena such as precognition, clairvoyance, and telepathy. But what do these wacky words mean? Gut feelings or hunches are conclusions made about a person or outcome without any obvious evidence. Precognition refers to inexplicable predictions or visions about the future. Clairvoyance and similarly remote viewing is the experience of leaving your body or gaining information about things outside of your immediate perceptive environment through visions or otherwise. Telepathy is the ability to communicate with others using just your mind. But that's all just moody stuff, right? Well, it might not be all as hooey as it seems. Although I'd wait till the end of the video before heading to New Orleans to open up a psychic consultancy. A seemingly supernatural sixth sense has been referenced by humans for a very long time, but only in the last century or so has science come forward to explore the possibilities, implications, and functions of such a phenomenon. Though some of the experiments and studies have gotten real weird, you'll be shocked to see some of the legitimate results scientists have gathered. Before we unpack the science, what forms has the sixth sense taken in our collective history? We've all heard crazy stories of people avoiding the 9-11 attacks on a hunch or of individuals gifted with the ability to read minds. Whether we believe them or not, tales of this kind serve to illustrate something we're all familiar with that's endured in the public consciousness from time immemorial. Throughout history, those believed to possess an astute sixth sense have had various roles which benefited society. In ancient Egypt, psychics were employed by royalty to help make decisions based on their otherworldly guidance. In the 1500s, a physician and astrologer by the name of Nostradamus churned out an impressive portfolio of predictions that seemed to establish some bleak scenarios for the future. Strangely, many of these appear to have been manifested in reality, from the Great Fire of London to Hitler himself. Of course, the prophetic writings of Nostradamus are not science and are heavily open to interpretation, but his sixth sense was highly valued in his day and even by many today. Psychic phenomenon became extremely popular in the US and the UK in the 19th century, with psychics and spirituality gaining mainstream popularity. Even among the elite, dinner parties often dissolved into seances. Around this time, the idea of a sixth sense began to gain enough popularity to become interesting to science. In 1882, the Society for Physical Research was founded in London, with the intention of applying scientific methodology to claims of psychic activity including claims of premonitions, precognition, and the sixth sense. In the 1930s, American botanist and parapsychologist J.B. Rhine convinced Duke University to establish a parapsychology lab. The lab concerned itself with exploring that which extends beyond the understanding of the human mind and senses, under a scientific lens. With this institution and others like it around the globe, the groundwork was laid for understanding and harnessing the power of the sixth sense. According to a study from Pew Research Center, almost half of Americans today believe in the existence of psychic abilities. But regardless of your beliefs, here's the surprising part. It's not all a bunch of crystal charging woo. Let's begin with the enigmatic bad feeling or hunch. It's the source of many tales of psychically gifted people being able to sense a bad person or even detect trauma without apparent communication. But is there any legitimacy to these claims? A 2014 study in the Public Library of Science Journal found that, in many cases, people were able to subconsciously pick up on extremely subtle changes in another person's appearance. Despite not necessarily being aware of these changes or the specificity of them, the participants declared a sense that something had changed about the person in question. It all came down to vision and our brain's impressive abilities to pick up on clues that our conscious minds don't register. 
Vision scientist Piers Howe, co-author of the study, believes that this unconscious ability to pick up on extremely subtle changes in appearance and environment may explain seemingly supernatural hunches and even clairvoyance. Perhaps this sixth sense is our brains picking up on something different without really knowing what's different. Of course, that says a lot about how the brain processes visual information, but doesn't explain why someone would avoid 9-11 on a hunch. Like much of science though, this research may be a springboard into deeper understanding. But for another spin on sixth sense science, we can explore a sense and a more classical definition of the word, a little thing called proprioception. This ability, present in most human beings, is how we intuitively know where our limbs, digits, and muscles are in space and time. When it needs to, this sixth sense takes over, telling our limbs where to go, and with how much force. Without obvious conscious effort, those born with impairments of this sixth sense in diseases like joint hypermobility have severe difficulties in controlling their limbs without looking directly at them. For most people, proprioception alongside the vestibular system inside the ears contributes to balance and also the physical sense of self. It turns out the traditional five senses is more of an inaccurate myth than the fabled sixth sense. So that's one additional sense possessed by humans. But could there be more? Let's focus on the mind. Have you ever felt like you're being stared at only to have your suspicions proven true? Rupert Sheldrake, a researcher in the fields of biology and parapsychology, has theorized that the sense of being stared at may be linked to the interaction between matter and consciousness. Sheldrake has asserted that perception is a two-way process and that when we look at something, we may be exerting some kind of barely perceptible force upon it. Humans, Sheldrake suggests, may be able to detect this force, allowing us to sense when we're being looked at. Fascinating as this theory is, it's lacking in evidence as yet but there may be more materialistic explanations. Studies like those led by Takamasa Yokoyama of Nagoya University have found that the brain has an astounding ability to register when someone or something is staring at us. The detection of gaze does not require the direct attention of the person being stared at according to the studies and can even be registered in the peripheral vision. A section of the brain called the superior temporal sulcus processes this type of information even faster than the traditional five senses. This is thought to be a forgotten evolutionary trait, similar to facial recognition, that helped our ancestors spot predators. It's also been suggested that quiet sounds we are not consciously aware of may alert us to the presence of a stare, as well as any reflective services or shadows. All that said, assuming these criteria are absent, some cases of sensing being stared at may remain shrouded in mystery. Do you buy Sheldrake's two-way perception theory? Let me know in the comments below. But what about magnetism? A lot of animals migrate. Many species of birds, for example, can find their way back across thousands of miles to the exact same spot without Google Maps. Geobiologists theorize that animals are able to navigate with the help of magnetic metals present in receptor cells in their brains or ears, which sync up with the Earth's magnetic poles. But do humans have a similar built-in magnetic navigation system? A protein known as cryptochrome, suspected to be involved in the detection of magnetic fields in other animals, is present in the eye but we're not really sure whether humans are able to use the protein for this purpose. Similarly, recent studies led by Joe Kirschfink, professor of geobiology at the California Institute of Technology, found that magnetic fields have a very real effect on human brainwaves. A rotating magnetic field, it was found, can induce a reduction in alpha brainwaves, which are produced naturally when we relax with our eyes closed. While conclusions are yet to be drawn as to what this may mean in a practical sense, it proves that humans are indeed affected by magnetic fields. Throw magnetics, proprioception, and superfast visual processors together, and there's plenty of evidence that our sixth sense is much more than a myth. But what about the weirder stuff? There are a handful of scientists who believe that phenomena like telepathy and clairvoyance have scientific merit. We just don't know how to explain them yet. A lot of studies were carried out in the 60s and 70s exploring all varieties of extrasensory perception, or ESP, but their findings were plagued by a lack of repeatability and dubious scientific rigor at best. Some of the tests born in the later 20th century did evolve, however, into more rigorous experiments. One of these recent experiments carried out in 2004 at the University of Edinburgh was based on an updated version of a test known as a Gansfeld experiment. 
The test involved covering a participant's eyes with half ping pong balls, shining a red light on them, and covering their ears with headphones. Through the headphones, white or pink noise would be played so as to drown out exterior sounds. The intended effect was to induce a receptive, dreamlike state for the participant, referred to as the receiver. Meanwhile, from another room, another participant known as the sender was asked to attempt to mentally send the video they were seeing to the receiver. The receiver was instructed to give descriptions of what came to their minds. The paper's contributors noted that, while the results were somewhat inconclusive, some of the receivers exhibited an intriguing level of accuracy with their descriptions. One receiver described a chimpanzee and a twitter of birds at the exact time the sender saw the very same on screen. Another described someone holding their hands upward, trying to embrace the whole world. At the precise moment, the sender viewed a clip of two women running towards each other, hands in the air. Many other examples can be found in the study, making it an intriguing read. While not being free from skeptical criticism, these new, more rigorous experiments prove that not all advocates for the existence of ESP are hippie New Agers. In fact, the US military is in on it as well. The US government has spent a lot of time researching a lot of wacky things, from psychedelics to spy cats, but they've been very serious about harnessing psychic powers for the military. Things got particularly peculiar in the desperation of the Cold War. During the 1970s, the US military actively recruited and trained psychic spies. In one program, known as Stargate, the CIA provided millions of dollars to investigate and harness the potential power of remote viewing. To those at the top, having soldiers that could leave their body and infiltrate private enemy zones seemed invaluable, if it were real. But the weirdest part? The trials were successful at least according to the official documents, which are now available on the official CIA website. As part of the program, there were even reports, verified by a number of sources, that a Russian Akula submarine was located using remote viewing, and its presence was later verified by satellite images. A variety of apparent successes over the program's 20-year span, seemingly verified at the highest levels of US government, are enough to, at the very least, provide some food for thought. This wasn't solely relegated to the annals of swinging 60s craziness either. In 2014, the Office of Naval Research dedicated four years and nearly four million dollars to determine what causes premonition and intuition in sailors and marines. This followed hundreds of reports in which soldiers sensed a possible danger and were proven right, allegedly saving countless lives. In 2006, Staff Sergeant Martin Richburg prevented the loss of several lives from an IED in Iraq based on an inexplicable spidey sense. As a result, this spidey sense is being studied and trained into active troops. That's right, the United States military and government feel there is enough evidence that snipers, IEDs, and other assaults can be avoided by honing the sixth sense to justify an officially backed exploration and integration. What a time to be alive. While some investigations have been a little wacky, the scientific studies I've referenced really do expand our numbers of senses beyond the five. Now it's just a matter of time until the rest are found. Do you have a theory about senses beyond the usual five? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>